John Sheridan, Wyoming, a Ron Paul supporter. John, you're on. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Uh, for those who want to support Mitt Romney or Newt Gingrich or Rick Santorum, might I suggest that rather than listening to their voting rhetoric, they should better examine their voting record, because these three neocons, Gingrich, uh, Gingrich Romney, and Santorum, have all supported abortion, gun control, tarp bailouts, Romney care, cap and trade, and open borders, whereas for decades, only Ron Paul has has been the consistent constitutional conservative, not a flip-flopper like these people. When these other gentlemen were in office, they voted with the far left. Now that they're running for president, they've decided to gain religion and start becoming instant overnight conservatives. Their conservatism just isn't there if you look at their voting record, because anyone can promise you whatever you want to hear, but look at their voting record to see which way they'll really go. Thanks, John Patrick, who supports Ron Paul, and he's in Oregon, Klamath Falls. You're on. Good, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing this evening? Great, thanks. Yes, I would like to uh, point out that uh, CNN did some heavy-duty exit polling, and they found out that uh, Newt Gingrich got a substantial majority of the evangelical Christian vote, and this is this is for a man that wants open marriages and has been in infidelity major infidelity with his wives, um, and he's a pro-war candidate. And so I don't understand how that can happen, but I was, it was nice to see that he supports Ron Paul completely on Ron Paul's monetary policies and strong dollar and, and all of those things. But the, and all these other candidates aren't true conservatives either. Um, they both Gingrich, Santorum, and, Gingrich, er, and um, Romney, all support carbon taxes, and they all supported these banker bailouts that is the primary reason that our country's in such financial straits today. So I, for the life of me, can't even begin to understand why all these people are, all these voters of South Carolina, uh, they must have their heads in the sand, um, the way they are supporting all these non Republican, or they're Republican in name only. They are all neocons and anti-American in their in their actions. Patrick, so. thanks so much.